Hey there, today I'm going to quickly show you guys on Google Cloud how to deploy a containerized application. So in case I just created my repository, okay, in case I have a couple of files here of deployment, then here I'm going to show you all of them. Let me close everything. Also, there is a config map for like instance connection name, etc. But not using that, I'm using the private IP address for connecting. So let's come back here. In case I don't, didn't replace with the public one, this is the public and the private. And uh, what else? Here's the deployment. Now when it's not showing, there is a secret. The servicing. Oh, thanks. The servicing. The deployment, which contains my Docker image of container registry. So once I create a cluster, once I create the, the database, so here I'm inside a database using the cloud shell. By the way, when, when you create a cluster for connecting to the SQL without the SQL pro cloud SQL proxy, you have to define the availability for all APIs to be called. I will find there is let me search for API. Probably is not here, but it cannot edit here, it can come into the nodes. There's the phone node pool, let's say on storage, you know, of course not there. When you create, it's going to be a flag to allow API. You have to search for each API you want to talk inside Google Cloud or you can enable all the APIs. For that, in case, it's just a, a testing. So I, I enable it all. Maybe I can show create in a cluster. This is important. Here we go, allow full access for all cloud APIs. For connected to cloud SQL, you should flag it to choose these, sorry. Choose these, not flag, it's not flag. By the way, I'm gonna share the project on the comments and then let me know if you have any question. Here I'm using the secret, how to use the secret, uh, how to use the variables from the config map inside the YAMLs. It's not opening. I will, you can check, for example, if you want to use this from the config maps, for example. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. See you in the next video.